Hey folks and welcome back to another video here at KL Tech Videos. Now if you've been following uh, my unboxing and interaction with the GLINet Comet, GLINet's latest KVM remote access tool, you will notice in the original video that I had a few problems with setting up the app. Not direct local access but definitely through the app. Well They've got back to me and they've demonstrated that it definitely does need a firmware upgrade in some instances, which they kindly provided instructions to do. So I've done that now, and that's what this video is, showing you how to upgrade that firmware and also easily access that app from your Windows or Mac OS system. Now, bearing in mind, this is totally compatible with Linux, just not the app itself, but you can definitely interact with it using the local IP address, etc. So let's jump into that now. <laughs> Okay, so the good guys over at GLINet have come back to me and give me some instructions to upgrade the firmware on the device itself. So we're gonna do that and see if we can get rid of some of the problems that we were facing in the beta. So we're gonna dial in to the KVM directly with its IP address on the network, or the two-factor authentication code, and we're logged in. There we go. So we'll try the firmware version. We're going to save our configuration because that's how we want to do it. So the current version, we're on V100, release 2. The latest version is V1.10, release 2. So let's upgrade that now and see if all our troubles with the main app fade away. So the upgrade is now complete. So if we well, paste our passwords back in here, run new OT. Oh. Two factor, I keep saying OTA. Okay, so we're on version 1.1. Cloud service requires the app which we have downloaded. Oh, great. So we've got resolution control now. Yeah, that's a lot better. Tail scale is now on this, this particular firmware release, version 1.1. Just had to re enable and allow that um, good cloud.xyz uh, domain in the firewall. So maybe we. Oh, there you go. See, as soon as that's enabled, it's kind of finding this information. Okay, so it's, it's found it now. I've enabled that domain again, which it did last time, mind. Okay, and if we try that, now we've done that firmware upgrade. I'll log into the actual comet as well. So that firmware upgrade did it for me. That worked brilliantly. And the amazing guys over at GLINet um, have helped resolve that issue, which I can't fault them for. Um, some may have just ignored. Some people may not have just got on board with it and thought, you know, stuff him. But you know what? They helped. They, uh, they got that through, and that works lovely. So I'm really happy with that. So that's the window app uh, working flawlessly now. Um, and as you can see, we've got all these um, things up here. So that's everything working lovely. Um, of course, we have the cloud service running. I don't intend on maintaining that cloud service because I still stick by the fact that any KVM remote access device should not be connected to the internet. So I will revert to that being uh, offline, um, internet-wise. I'm going to try and do that now and see if the remote app still works offline or if it is, has to go through that um, cloud server. Now I've blocked the internet. It looks like that's kind of terminated itself. That's lost connection, but you'll notice that the web browser version still works flawlessly as well. But the, the local version still works fine, um, and I have lowered the resolution, although it can go all the way up here to 4K at 30 hertz. 2K is 60 hertz. I'm running. I'm rocking it at 1080p 60 hertz. Okay, so the app definitely needs the internet connection um, anyway, regardless of which firmware you're on. Um, so if I allow that through again for the next 30 minutes, straight away, connection is restored. So yeah, it really depends on what you want to do. Um, can we disable the cloud service here? And if we do disable the cloud service here, will this still work? Um, again, it is still working perfectly fine locally in here, in the web browser, so that's brilliant. I'm just, the only problem I'm really still having is accessing the USB um, drive that's connected to this. So yeah, so that definitely needs the cloud service enabled. Which if we refresh this page, you'll see up here that little cloud there. 
you can enable it in the local interface as well or on the cog it again it totally depends on what you want to do they do have tail scale now as an app um, available for this so that's perfect to, to if you want to access that remotely i'm already using wireguard myself hence why i don't need the cloud service there but yeah you definitely can install tail scale through the app center so yeah, I'm really happy with the help I got from uh, GLINet. I'm really happy that um, this is now fixed. I can now access this across the network. Uh, I know other YouTubers are having varied um, results there, but everything seems to be working perfectly now um, as the way it was designed. So yeah, really happy. Thanks very much. Just wanted to give a very quick update on that.